Hey guys, how's it going? It's Christian Beck, LA Arcade, and this is going to be another commentary. Um, I don't really know how to title this one. Um, I guess... I don't, I don't know how I'm even going to title this one. I guess it's going to be like, like our generation or something like that. But we... Our generation is the generation of girls getting pregnant at the age of 15, or even younger for some reason, and getting tattoos for fun, YOLO, uh, and of course, chivalry, chivalry is not completely dead because guys still make the first move, but that's to have sex. Let's be honest, guys, come on, you're not fooling anybody here. If you're going to make the first move, you want you want a fucker. I mean, am I wrong here? Um... Guys aren't the way they used to be. Or, I shouldn't say guys. Girls aren't the way they used to be. I'm sorry, girls, that I'm outing you here, but you need to close your legs. I'm not talking to all the girls. I'm not talking to, the, of course, the sweet little innocent girls that do nothing wrong. I'm talking about the 16- and 15-year-old whores that are out there fucking five guys a day and getting pregnant. and then the And then the dad runs off whoever he is and then you wonder why the the dad runs off whenever you're still fucking his best friend even after after the baby's born you wonder why the dad runs off you don't know why he runs off but i mean fuck stop fucking stop having kids at the age of 15 and 16 you're supposed to live your life okay your I, your life doesn't you're you're still a kid at the age of 15 and 16. Like, I'm almost 20 now, and I don't have a kid. And I am definitely not living life to the fullest, but I can if I want to. Uh, I don't have a kid to go home to. I don't have a wife or girlfriend to go home to that's always bitching about me to change the baby's diaper or that she's been awake for 12 hours or 50, however fucking long. Uh, moms are awake during that time whenever the baby's crying and wanting food but I get to go home and I get to play video games and I get to go hang out with my friends whenever actual responsible dads have to stay home with their wife slash girlfriend and listen to them bitch about what little Bob did today little Bob uh, shit his pants god great honey yeah fucking gonna go watch the game no no I wanna fucking talk no no shut the fuck up please Alright, I know I'm getting off on a huge tangent. I'm probably not making any sense, but girls, you gotta learn to stop getting pregnant at the age of 15 or 16. This is, uh, how should I put this? This is a occurrence that happened way more than it should have. I know in my high school, there was a fair share of girls who got pregnant during their freshman and sophomore year. And guess what? Their babies were at their, were at their graduation. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Your baby gets to see you graduate high school, not college, high school. So, come on. Stop. Have sex. Put on a condom. That's all you gotta do. It may not feel as good as not wearing one, but hey, you're not gonna have a kid. you have more money to spend on yourself. And I'm not trying to be an asshole here and say, ooh, fucking children are bad. No, I like children. I don't want one yet, but children are going to cost way more money than not having them. Hey, you want that new car? You want you want the sound system? You want the rims? You can have all that if you don't have a kid. So close your fucking legs, women. Okay? Okay. <laughs> another another topic I want to bring up is um is YOLO. Uh YOLO was brought to us by Drake and uh I hope that it's dead. I really fucking do. I've never said YOLO and actually meant it. Like, oh, gonna go out drinking tonight. YOLO. No, fuck that. That shit is annoying. People who say YOLO and swag and actually mean it. Sure. Go ahead. Say it. But don't get mad to me whenever... I mean, don't get mad whenever you quit your job... Or you hate your job because you're working at McDonald's. Okay. I know my job isn't all that great, but hey, it's better than fucking McDonald's. Trust me, I've been there. That was before Swag and YOLO. So, yeah. 
You can go ahead and call me a hipster if you want. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. I'm rambling. It's been five minutes. Uh, i got to get through seven minutes of this. <laughs> I've never really had a long commentary like this before. Excuse me. I just hit the mic. You enjoyed it. And um, let's see. Snapbacks and tattoos. That's another trend. I hope that's fucking going out of style. <laughs> I swear to God. All these stupid things like swag and YOLO and snapback snapbacks and tattoos and all of this stuff it's it's a plague on society it's what it is like i'm from houston so i have to listen to oh i have swag <laughs> yolo snapbacks and tattoos snapbacks and tattoos i gotta listen to that shit all the time and trust me it's not f- fucking sour grapes here i hate all of it okay Anyone who says YOLO or swag, wears a snapback, and has multiple tattoos that are fucking stupid, kill yourself. Please. And if you're going to get mad at me because I'm saying kill yourself over that, kill yourself. Okay? Fucking stupid people. I mean, I'm not claiming to be smart, and I know I'm sounding, I'm sounding more like I'm ranting here, but come the fuck. Fuck on. That's a stupid word. That's a stupid... I don't know what it is. Acronym or something like that. YOLO? Yeah. Fuck that. Um, Fucking YOLO. God damn it. (laughs) I sitting here probably talking about three minutes of YOLO. Fucking hate it. Um, Alright guys. Well, that's been my ranting slash commentary. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to me already. And I will see you guys next time. Keep staying awesome. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay if there is any because I'm creeping up on 7 minutes and 10 seconds. I love you guys. Keep staying awesome.